Okay, section B is on forming bases. And of course, a basis, uh, we've been working on basis before, but not for uh, these vector spaces. So we're just expanding out this idea of a basis. A basis just means it's the most efficient set possible. It's the minimum set required in order to span uh, the same thing as the full set. So in this set, it's rather inefficient. We have five vectors here, and what we want to do is find a basis for this span. Uh, there's a bunch of ways to go about this, uh, but again, what we want to do is focus on uh, efficiency. What's the way to really get to the minimum number of vectors required to do this? And what I'd like to do is really exploit theorem BRS, the basis of a row space. So what we want to do is convert this guy into a uh, a row vector uh, or, or basically a row matrix uh, that basically is based on this guy. So I'm going to treat it as if S were a matrix and then I'm going to transpose it. So that's what A is going to be. So it'll be 1, 1, 1, 1, 3 as the first row, 3, 2, 1, 2, 4 as the second or second column. Uh, the third column is going to be 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, and the last one's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 3. So you can see the first and the last column are the same, just like the first and last row here we're going to be the same. So it, it shows you kind of the redundancies that are in this system a little bit. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to RF this guy in order to exploit the uh, basis of the row space. So when I RF this, this is what I end up with. So it's 1, 0, 0, 1. The next row is 0, 1, 0, 0. The third one is 0, 0, 1, 0. And the last row, last two rows are all zeros. So two rows of zeros only. And remember, the basis of the row space says that we transpose any of the rows that are non-zero. So these are both zero, so what I want to do is transpose row one, two, and three because they're non-zero, and those will actually form the basis for this set. So the basis, I'll just call it Y, turns out to be the set, one, zero, zero, one, uh, zero, one, zero, zero, and zero, zero, uh, oh, yeah, zero, zero, one, zero. And that's it, the last two are zeros, so they don't get to play. So there it is, that set Y will form a basis for this set. A linear combination of this set will form all the same linear combinations of this set, where this set would use five variables. This one can do it with only three, which means this is the minimum number of vectors necessary. And you can see that the use of the basis of the row space produced it the easiest vectors to apply. That's why I like to use BRS for this because it tends to come from a reduced row echelon form horizontal rows, and they tend to be really easy on the eyes, much easier than the original vector set. Even though that original set was pretty good looking, no negatives in it, awful lot of ones, but this is still much, much better. So there it is, Y is what we were asked for, the basis for uh, this uh, spanning set.